HBO has submitted their Game of Thrones episodes for Emmy consideration. This should be quite interesting. My name is Proper Jeremy, and welcome back to the channel. This article comes from winteriscoming.net, a very appropriate title uh, for this particular subject, if I might say so myself. Uh, and this comes from author David Harris, and uh, if you remember, David Harris wrote the article that I based my first video on, my first actual proper upload, if you will. Let's all pretend to be angry about the possibility of a Back to the Future reboot. Um, I'm going to put this in the, uh, either in the description or pinned in the comments down below so you can see what I had to say about, <laughs> about that. That was an interesting episode. But anyways, um, and if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you end up not liking this video, go ahead, hit that dislike button. My feelings will not be hurt. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, my PayPal is linked in the description down below if you would like to donate to the channel. Anyways, let's get into the topic of today. Let's look at the Emmy nominations, uh, uh, or at least the episodes that HBO wants uh, to win, which is what uh, David Harris specifies out right here. It's not uh, who's actually up for an Emmy, it's who HBO wants to be up for the Emmy. So this, these are uh, the episodes, the categories that HBO has said that these episodes, these categories, these people should win Emmys or at least be nominated for Emmys. These are Emmy uh, worthy uh, people, Emmy worthy categories. Uh, so let's just keep that in mind. Uh, there are a lot of categories to go over. Um, okay, so the actual show itself, uh, the show as a whole, uh, is uh, it's in the categories of outstanding casting in a drama series, uh, outstanding main title design. So they redid the title design. There's a lot of weird categories in the Emmys. I gotta say, um, outstanding stunt coordination for a drama series, limited series, or movie, and of course, outstanding drama series. Um, then, oops. Then there are all the awards broken down by episodes and individuals. And uh, all right, so production design for the bells. Um, Cinematography, blah, blah, blah. Uh, outstanding commercial, okay. Um, I actually don't remember that Super Bowl ad at all. I don't really like watching Super Bowls that are uneventful. Um, outstanding fantasy, okay, costumes. Uh, outstanding directing for a drama series. The Iron Throne, directed by Benioff and Weiss. The Last of the Starks and The Long Night. And so <laughs> He says, honestly, we would have put forward the bells as the best directed episode of the season. You know what? I think these are, those are all like, but those are like the worst episodes to possibly nominate for uh, the long night sucked. You couldn't see anything that happened. Um, the finale was just a bunch of walking and staring at each other. Um, the last of the stars. I, th I think that was, was that the one with the Starbucks coffee cup? So... No. Uh, oh, oh, let's also not forget the water bottle incident. <sighs> Jesus. It's like, it's like they didn't care about the last season. They just had to take two years to have a lackluster season, a shorter season that it just did not deliver what people wanted. Uh, and I get it. I, I, get, I get the whole thing of like not uh, delivering everything that everybody is expecting. Um, and I also understand that there are a lot of people who have different ideas of where the show should go or where it can go. But at the end of the day, what's important to realize is just that uh, you know, there is a reason why a million and a half people have signed a petition that probably will... I mean, it's not going to go into fruition at all. But there's a reason why people want Benioff of Weiss or somebody, who, who, somebody else to redo the entire season because it was that bad you don't get that kind of response from anybody and this is also let's just keep in mind that in our weird twisted alternate universe where we can't even agree on what's good on pizza like pineapple and people get outraged over that and the political climate especially in the states this is something that a lot of people could agree on people who weren't necessarily um, involved or um, emotionally invested in this series thought it was bad. There were people from different political spectrums uh, that came together and said, "Yes, we agree on one thing: 
Game of Thrones Season 8 sucks! And of all the things, of all the things, for everyone to just kind of agree on, and there are a couple of people who don't, uh, don't agree with all this, of course, but that's fine, they're few and far between, and, uh, you know, if you did like the series, if you did like uh, the season finale, I mean, good for you. Good for you. I envy you. I envy you that that you have had several, I mean, at least a few years invested in this series and you were satisfied. Good for you. I'm jealous of that a little bit because I was not satisfied at all. I felt like it was a waste of time. But anyways, the point is, of all the things to actually have people come together for, I would not expect Game of Thrones sucking to be the one, <laughs> you know? So it's just kind of, it's just kind of weird to me. So let's see what some other ones were. Hair sign, makeup, creative achievement in interaction. Okay, I don't know anything about that. Uh, music comp composition, sure, I guess. Uh, outstanding directing for a documentary nonfiction program. Uh... Okay. All right. The last one. All right. Cool. Uh, picture editing. Uh, edit. Okay, that's for the nonfiction stuff. Uh, sound mixing, special effects. Outstanding writing for a drama series, The Iron Throne. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> oh, gosh. The, the one good thing was that shot with uh, the dragon behind uh, Daenerys. That, that was a golden shot. Why couldn't the rest of the episode be that? But, yeah, it's sounding lead. Uh, Snow, okay. Yeah, I mean, honestly, the, the actors, you know, everyone who, was, uh, everyone who wasn't involved with the Starbucks cup and water bottle incident, yeah, I mean, and whoever uh, did the lighting for, um, for the long night, uh, aside from them, you know, everyone who's on the below, everyone who is, wasn't involved in, in the writing or the directing, yeah, I mean, absolutely they did the best that they could with what they had, especially the actors who didn't necessarily, at least uh, from my perspective and a lot of other people's perspectives, it didn't seem like they were very excited about <laughs> the series uh, finale at all. Uh, they were asking, oh, is it going to be satisfying? It's like, no, it's going to be disappointing. Uh, it's like, eh, you know, Amelia Clark is just nervously laughing like, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> You're going to have a ball with that, you know? It's just one of those things. One of those things where... Um, it's just, it all falls down to the writing. It all falls down on the shoulders of Benny Off and Weiss. And you know what? I'm not going to have any issues if, uh, okay, let's go down here. I think it said what the exact dates were. Okay, so again, the nominations will be, uh, will be unannounced. Will be unannounced. Improper! <laughs> will be announced on July 16th. The award ceremony will be held on September 26th. Second, uh, so July 16th, mark your calendars. That is when the nominations will be officially announced. And we'll see how many, how many of these, uh, of these submissions will actually be uh, considered for nominations and how many, uh, how many of uh, the Emmys uh, will actually, how, how much, uh, how many of these will actually get nominated. That is going to be the big question. And out of those, which there are going to be some Emmy nominations. That's just inevitable. But how many are going to actually win? That's another thing that I've been thinking about. And the one that the ones that really were on my mind were were the writing, outstanding writing, no, and outstanding directing. Um, yeah, just just no, absolutely not. Um, so if one of those. If either of those, I think there were four. There was for the individual episodes and outstanding running for the finale, and then out. I guess there's the one for the overall show. Those five actually get nominations. Oh my lord! But we have to remember that this isn't the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards. We don't get a say in any of this. We don't vote online. It's just some random people that we don't know who select the winners. I don't even know how the Emmys really works in terms of selecting who gets nominated, who wins. I mean, I imagine it's kind of like the Oscars. So we basically have no say in it. The audience does not get to have any input on it. And if they did, if they did, it would probably be for one of those Razzie Awards if it were a film, because it was just god awful. I mean, 
But anyways, um, let me know in the comment section what you think about all of this. Do you think any of these will get nominations? Do you think any will win? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you all so much. And once again, have a great day.